everybody. I'm here to do an empties video or also known as products I've used up. Um, I want to start off with that Downy Unstoppable. This is the purple top uh, Lush. I love the smell of this for my sheets and towels. It's very relaxing. It's kind of got a lavender vanilla smell to it. I recently noticed there's another Downy Unstoppable with a black lid and it's geared toward a midnight sleepy time motif and I put them side by side and I smell them and I can't tell the difference. So if you know what the difference is in those, leave a comment so I can figure it out, okay? But either way, I really love these. I will repurchase. My all-time favorite is the light baby pink lid and those are really good. Since he also has uh, washer stuff I like to use. Um, speaking of Scentsy, I'm a distributor. I'll put my link below if you want to get on my website and purchase some Scentsy for yourself. Uh, this one I've used up is called Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Um, this came out last year at Easter time. It's a very tart, tangy, sweet jelly bean smell. It's very strong. And this one here, it's Scentsy's 10 year anniversary and they came up with this scent called Thank You. It's kind of a mellow, muted marshmallow, serene. It's very universal. I think everybody would like this. So if you want to get a present for somebody and not sure what scent they may like, Thank You is a very good pick. Since he also, not everybody knows, they have like a bath and body line with lotions, creams, shower gels, shower creams, spritz, and uh, hand soaps, hand sanitizer, lip balm, and this is an empty shower gel. I also really love their shower cream. The shower cream is almost like putting a conditioner on you in the shower. But the shower gel is really good for oily skin people. And this flavor is Sheer Innocence. It's a very girly, light floral scent for, for women. Um, this is called Aqua Spa Body Cream. I got this in a glossy box. Actually, it's the first glossy box I got. The smell is in lavender and chamomile. It's made in the United States of America. I enjoyed the smell of this so much. It almost took me away from my favorite nighttime routine of the Bath and Body Work Lavender and Vanilla. Um, I went online to their website to purchase the full size bottle of this and I could not, uh, it was out of, out of stock. So all you glossy box people must have went on there and ordered at the same time because it was just blown up. There was nothing there. So I have not reordered it. I haven't got back on their site. I probably will if I ever think about it, but I have not yet. So I would repurchase this if it was convenient. And um, I don't know if I've told y'all, but I've gotten off of antiperspirants. I've gone to a no, uh, just deodorant, and this is the first one of the first natural deodorants I've tried. It's by the brand Jason. It has no aluminum, no paraffins, no phthalates, and no propylene, propylene glycol. And um, this smell is very clean. It's a purifying tea tree, and uh, I liked it. It's a very smooth application. Some of the other natural deodorants were real hard to get on. This one's very smooth. I recommend it. However, it did not hold the odor for 24 hours or 12 hours. I had to retouch up during the day. I kept another stick in my purse. Um, I think when you're detoxing from uh, over-the-counter antiperspirants, you're trying to release toxins and your body really wants to sweat. It wants to get out the bad impurities. So um, this is an okay deodorant. I have found some that I like more. So um, I can tell you my favorites on another video, but this is an okay product. And these are the Pampers Baby Fresh Wipes. Um, at night for my skincare routine, I put on the Pond's uh, Cold Cream um, Makeup Remover. And then once I get all my eye makeup real good and lathered and black, I'll take one of these. It's an easy pop-up lid and get out one of these. I use these rather than makeup remover wipes because they're larger and if it's sensitive enough for a baby's bottom surely it's okay for my face. The smell is really nice, the Baby Fresh, but I thought after this whole package that I might be getting tired of it so I went ahead and bought the Sensitive and I'm using the Sensitive right now. It's a fragrance free and truthfully I miss the smell of the Baby Soft so I think I will go back and purchase the Baby Fresh. Um, 
Here and there I've bought makeup wipes from like Pons or Clean and Clear and or, or Oil of Olay. And not all of the baby or not all of those have this pop-up lid. And this is very convenient. When you have makeup and goo all over your hands, just to lift this up is very convenient. So I will repurchase these. And in the theme of skincare, these uh, Swiffers, I get these at Walmart. These are the placement of my cotton balls. If you can see the, the picture of the pad, it is a square pad about this size. It's very soft, it's not textured at all, so it doesn't rub on your face. And I love to put my toner on there and put it on, or else maybe um, taking off the extra eye makeup remover. So I love these Swiffers. I will definitely repurchase them. They come in a large one, like this big. I guess you could use that to take off your makeup, but I use the little square ones. So we're talking about eye makeup removal. These are the e.l.f. Eye makeup remover pads. It's a set of 24. This is one dollar, so it's cheap enough. However, I would not recommend using this for everyday use. The little pads are are itty bitty and they're kind of hard to peel apart. Um, I recommend using this if you go camping, like I did with the Cub Scouts, or you're flying and you don't want to pack like a bottle of eye makeup remover and cotton balls and it's and all the extra stuff this will do in a pinch plus they're only one dollar so you can stock up on these and not break the bank um, I ran out of these mark face blotters mark is the daughter company of Avon so if you know somebody that sells Avon they can hook you up with mark um, these were the tissue papers some of these oil blotters are like look blue and plastic these are just regular old tissues nothing special other than the size I've noticed is bigger than the clean and clear or the ones I get at Walmart so I did like the size on these another product that I used up is a lip liner this is also made in the USA it's by Jordana you can get this at Walgreens it's a dollar ninety-nine I've used name brand and drugstore uh, lip liners Honestly, I cannot tell the difference. If there is a lip liner that you are absolutely in love with, I think mostly people fall in love with the color rather than anything else. And this one to me is a, it's a exact match to my natural lip color. So I'm using it right now. I use this for nude lips or just a soft to give it some definition. Or if I'm just going to be using gloss, I don't like the gloss to fade into my lines here. So if you set your lips with this, um, it goes on wonderful, plus it's $1.99. I have other colors I use for different lipsticks I use, and Jordana, it's a, it's, I will definitely repurchase this. For hair care, I'm a big fan of OGX. I love all of their shampoos and conditioners. They come in the little squatty bottles. They smell super good. This one, however, is a fail for me. This is a Sea Mineral Moisture deep treatment surge and when I think deep treatment I'm thinking like ultra thick conditioner that you put on and then you're just able to to just rake your hair with a comb with no tangles when I put this on my hair it felt like it turned plastic and I couldn't even when I put extra 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 product in my hand to try to get through it was very difficult I couldn't I tried to like it I wanted to like it it has a nice smell to it but I will not repurchase this and I hope I'm not offending anybody's brand but I don't want you to waste your money on it when there are other ones out there this is an Estee Lauder advanced night repair complex this is uh, what I would put on my face after I wash my face after I tone my face I put a couple of drops in my hand mix it up and put it on like this I only use it at night it will a little bit goes a long way I have oily skin so if I use too much of it I find that my skin in the morning is uh, oily and of course I wash it every morning but this is uh, really going to help with any kind of age spots or maybe sunburn spots or fine lines or wrinkles I actually do my own concoction I use this with the Mary Kay night solution as well as some essential oil from Young Living called frankincense and that natural oil in there um, really makes my skin look um, good. 
And here's a product from Sabella. This is a subscription. Um, I use all of Melaleuca's laundry products, cleaning products, some of their vitamins, and they do have a couple of food items. And with Melaleuca, they have a beauty supply that does makeup and hair care. This is the Luxury Daily Treatment. It's a leave-in detangler. It smells really good. My son uses it uh, in the morning before school to comb his hair. Um, I'll definitely repurchase this. And last but not least, this is a mascara from Be A Bombshell. I received this full-size mascara in my Ipsy Beauty subscription and I did not like it as well. Um, I think the packaging is pretty. I like the girl on the, on the label. I think that's a cute addition. It did not have a, a nice smell to it. So what I did was I put a drop of lavender essential oil into the mascara tube and it made it smell better. It's nice. Um, for some reason, I just did not get a lot of volume or thickness out of this. If you're a very, very, very natural girl that just wants a pop of definition, or maybe you have a young daughter, a teenage girl, and you don't want her looking uh, fake or, or just too dolled up, this might be an excellent brand for you. So, for me personally, I have uh, a liking towards larger than life mascaras and this does more of a, a natural eye but um, now that I'm using it on top of my the one I already did this morning it looks kind of nice well that's all I have for my uh, empties I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up comment subscribe um, I had a lot of people subscribe and ask me to subscribe back to them. I enjoy talking to y'all, so just keep it coming. Y'all have a great day. God bless you.